what it do is the boy J to the so boosting bad ass right now. Goddamn, and T.I. said he can't work with T.I. because T.I. snitched on his dead homie in a podcast earlier. He was on Vlad talking about I can't snitch, I can't work with T.I. The most T.I. is a rat if he did it. Uh, but I feel like Boosie was making excuses on behalf of this right here because he said I don't believe T.I. did it when Six Nine did Six Nine did it and Gunner did it. He was vocal about it. He was saying, "Man, they some rats. They some snitch ass niggas. Ratatouilles. They uh, Gunner Tello. You know, they some snitches. Straight cheese. They the devil. I don't fuck with no rat, no snitches. You know, M M Mickey Mouse ass niggas, Chuck E. Cheese ass niggas. That what they was king." It's all about who we like, guys. Crime doesn't pay. For some reason in the black community, we was taught that sports, drugs, and entertainment was a way out of the hood. You got to be a crime boss. You, you got you, you to gotta, you know, snake somebody to the top, backdoor somebody to make it. it there's, you don't have to do that right there. There's other ways to make it in, the, in life without doing crime or being a rapper or anything. Or being a criminal. And it is amazing how people glorify this. But when 6 9 did it, they called this man everything in the book. He's a bitch-ass nigga. But it's all about who we like. See, the streets, guys, is a myth. There's no rules in this street shit. People in they, who they've been in the streets with for years kill their best friends. Like New Jack City. You see him with, you know, what Wesley Snipes did, the, uh, the G-Money? What, what, you see him, you know, see what uh, Nino did the G-Money in New Jack City? Killed him. That was his so-called brother. See, with Juice, Bishop killed Raheem. That was his man he knew since he was a little child. He knew it. He went to the funeral. He knew this man's mama, his sister. He knew this family. And he killed them. And his friends protect. They didn't even turn him in because they were scared. Still stealing them. They told them. They didn't even tell them. They protect criminals in the black community. Uh... I just feel like Boosie ain't keeping the same energy he did with 6 9 I know Boosie's supposed to be the last of a dying breed. He's supposed to be this, though. Know, he had a lot of allegations against him. He beat death murder, beat death, uh, death row. He beat body murder charges. Uh, you know, he's a well-known street dude. He's standing on his street shit. Uh, I'm a curbside nigga myself. I am a sidewalk nigga. I'm a pedestrian, my pedestrian nigga. But I just don't I, I don't I don't like the narrative. So many I, I just look at it like so many people want to be from the streets and want to they trying to make all black people be from the street mentality, be hood and you know this is the best way because you got to be street to be gangster. They glamorize this. They're so infatuated with this. And when in the case all the streets all, all the streets do is bury young black men and mothers and mothers had to bury their sons and grandmothers had to bury their sons. Slow singing and flower bringing. We're creating abandoned homes because these boys are going to prison and going to jail and dying. Why? How many black boys we got to bury and stuff behind this street shit? And then his T.I. cousin was dead. My thing is, how can he tell on him? He, I mean, so what? He's dead. What? This I don't understand this street. It's a walking contradiction. It's nothing but hypocrisy. He don't. He said he, he said he don't want to believe it because he likes T.I. He said he claimed the album ain't coming out allegedly. Who knows? I don't even want to hear Boosie and T.I. This is not 2006. T.I. is not in his prime. Boosie no longer in his prime. Vlad is the only thing that's keeping Boosie relevant. And Instagram kept Boosie relevant during the pandemic. These guys, T.I. not even known. T.I. doing stand-up comedy podcasting. T.I. I don't want to hear any music from T.I. The Trap King. The King of the South. I don't want to hear no music from Clifford Harris. Or Torrance Hatchet right now. Vlad got Boosie on payroll. I guess he's sleeping on the couch somewhere. How is he? I think is he's dead. So if this can get you free, like Terrence Williams did, what is the problem with that? I, I don't understand why I didn't outrage about it. If the man's already dead, it can't. They're going to bring him back to life to do time. It, it just doesn't make any sense to me when you see it, though. But uh, I don't want to hear no music from him anyway. I, I, it, come on, bro. That, that, that boat, that ship is sailed. That, that chapter's closed in their life. I think they just need to get on to being... I remember Boosie said one time, I'm an entrepreneur. T.I. doing family video uh, pictures with his kids. He, he shooting family. He doing VH1 with his family, man. You know, shooting his family life. He's like the black Bill Cosby with his family life. 
you know, showing his family life and shit. So nobody want to see T.I. rap about street shit. His last album was terrible. Nobody want to hear that shit. Then T.I. responded to him. I mean, T.I. responded to Boosie comments, guys, about his rat situation. Uh, I, I tell you guys, the streets never win. Nobody wins in the streets, guys. The streets are undefeated. The streets are going to eat you up and spit you back out. You don't win in the streets, guys. There's nothing to be glorified. It's all an image. It's all a facade. It, it's just a fantasy, guys. Please, guys. These rappers would take rap, and these street niggas aren't good fathers because they in jail or in the street. They ain't taking care of the kids or their responsibilities with their woman or their children. Because they absent from the home. They're absentee. But they're abandoned homes. And a lot of all the street niggas want to get out the streets. Only only stupid idiots stay in the streets and want to continue to be streets after you make some money. Which is idiots to be. This idiot. But T.I. responds. Tip responded on this post said, Yeah, so I don't know if it's you or your OG uncle that needs to see it. But I got my paperwork ready to show Pull up my number the same, my address the same, my nigga. To get on the net and speak on shit you never spoke to me about is leading me to believe you've been hiding in your heart the whole time. I never speak certain disrespect on your name, reputation, by the if homie. The convict code say when in doubt, put a paperwork out. And if you ain't did that, now I don't know what type of time you on, but I say again, if I was a question or confusion about anything, I said you could call, you could have called and asked, so you can report back and tell your OG you could have pulled up and checked the black and white like I'm offering now. Either the way though, my nigga, I ain't about to no nigga opinion about to no nigga opinions of me. How the hell you put an emoji in this? This is ridiculous. See, I must be at a publicist that type this. Cause what? No, he didn't. Cause he's using the abbreviation. Cause what they know, what they think, would never overrule what I know. So don't wonder no more, homie. Answer the if. Pull up and report back to the rest of the niggas. Would opinions matter so much to you? Because I could give a fuck about what no nigga think about me. The, the tail shall never wag the dog. The tail shall never wag the dog. Leaders lead with facts and stats. We don't follow no fantasy land. Shit. Remember shit. Remember that. And I ain't mending my knees for nothing or fearing nothing but God. So come on and see what you speaking about. So next time you can speak intelligently. I expect more from you. This shit ain't solid. Obviously I thought we were something we wasn't. So T.I. obviously heard about these comments. He's in his feeling. He said he should have got. He said T.I. saying he shouldn't. Basically saying he shouldn't have got online and spoke about that. Uh, I feel like if anything. You no, know, Bruce was just answering the question from Vlad. But. You know, I feel like if you did have any questions about it, you know as well. Should have called a man on the phone and y'all talk about this offline. And then come, you know Vlad's going to ask the controversial questions and these uh, obvious questions, you know, pertaining to the current events about this because y'all was close to working on the project. So I think he should have talked about tip and then clarified in person and, you know, came up so it won't be no misunderstanding. There won't be no miscommunication on both ends of, of the uh, situation. But nevertheless, I, I I think, you know, he said the album's done. I, I think they saved the world from a bad project, man. We don't want to hear no more goddamn. I don't want to hear no more of that damn bullshit. No more is 40 plus year old with kids. Uh, Come on, man. Boozy, goddamn. T.I.'s a grandfather, man. Nobody want to hear that shit. He said paperwork party. And this is another thing, guys. You don't always have to have paperwork to be a snitch or be a tattletale. You can always tell without the paperwork. So, you can also realize that right there. But T.I. also had a whole tip hotline. In the, and then, you know, he was doing a tip hotline because he caught the gun case. And, he, you know, T.I.P., he was going around with the, going to different, uh, working with the kids in the community, doing community service because of that. And report crime stoppers. That would tip me, tip service. You know, letting tips known about crime. Uh, but... You know, hip hop community glorified the drugs, the killing, the shooting, the murders, the dope. That, that's, you know, that's what glorified. But y'all like, comment, subscribe to the video, man. Y'all tell me what y'all think in the comment section. I'm out.